Yeah. yeah. It says that they're already in game. No, oh. we're just sitting in lobby. Oh, I see. Um, all right. Want me to start it off here? Go ahead, my man. All right, cool. In the top right, our green Terran player. Hope he can beat this Zerg to the ground. He is Hobo Molester. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> And then in the bottom left hand corner, it is going to be our Zerg player hoping to Zerg down this Terran. It is Nito. Yeah, so I think Nito actually played Terran in the last tournament, from my understanding. Now he is playing Zerg. Am I right on that? I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe. You're like, eh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's all good. We have casted quite a bit together today. Yeah. So. Well, in the past 24 hours, that is. Mm hmm. I think we've casted like 10 hours or so in the last 24 hours once this is yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give or take, maybe an hour or two there and forward and back. <laughs> all so. right. So, from our Terran player, we, uh,. Similarly, your gas probably gonna go for Reaper opening here. Gas is a little earlier earlier than I'd expect, though. Hey. Okay? Yeah, maybe he might be going for like he's definitely gonna go for an X band out of this, or is he gonna go supply depot? Interesting. So he's gonna go for supply depot, another gas into factory. We'll have to see when he decides to throw down his natural base. Otherwise, we might be looking at an all in out of the Terran. Mm -hmm. As for the Zerg player, it's pretty basic. Um, Every Zerg player, they need those queens, they need those lings, they need that speed. As fast as they can get it, right? So that's the name of the game right now in the meta for Zerg players. Um, Wait, but, you're saying mutas aren't using TVT? <gasps> <laughs> I mean, they can be, but like... Then Thors exist. Thors. And it's like, you get two. Thors and are pretty like, scary. Ah! Oh, Thors and Liberators and Widow Mines. It's like, oh, right. That's why. What is micro? Right. Yeah, no, we might micro a hard sell and one mistake and you lose everything. They just set their name move and it deletes everything. It's cool. This Reaper almost died uh, in the middle of the map here. Pretty aggressive Zerglings out of Nito. Um. Looks like he Ooh, good, is. Good players don't lose lings. Has he lost one? He's lost two fo so far. <laughs> that is quite a few lings. We're right all there. the way up. Gonna hit no. up to 16 no. lings now. Speed is about to finish. Natural base is on the low ground. And I think the natural base is going to barely be able to finish. Only one Hellion produced right now, and the Lings are already into this natural base. They surround the Reaper, and they're, oh, they're gonna get on top of the Hellion. Oh no. Hobo Master doing exactly what he should right now, repairing those, uh, those oh, barriers. Will, will, will he repair the other wall? The yeah, other this, wall is getting a little low. The south side it's is under taking a lot of damage now. The Hellions are out. Barely going to be able to push away those Lings just in I the will, nick of time. Funny enough, I'd like to see a uh, a Burrow follow up and force the scan and delay the... Because uh, depending on when he drops his mules, you know, they, they might not be able to land. And they just wait for a scan and then he finds scans and he loses the, the energy, right? Yeah. So, can, uh, getting an easy burrow is not a bad idea. It could be interesting, that's for sure. Force an all-in out of the Terran player at the least. Mm -hmm. Then a couple spines and suddenly, oh hey, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. No third base coming out of Nito yet. That was a lot of army forced out in the early game. Uh, got a little bit of harassment done, but really not a whole lot other than uh, you know, expansion denial time. But then again, he also didn't lose the Ling, so that army is still on the map. Keep that in mind. Speaking of which, the Lynx decide to go in here. Killing off two Hellions right now. Still a lot of Lynx in the face. It's going to be a pretty close fight. Oh my gosh. And the walk move. Suddenly all is the mule, 
The SUV is all dead and he shuts down the base again. Now the economy is really in the favor of our Zerg player. You see it skyrocketing ahead here, even with like even with mules existing. Still, our Terran player is actually ahead in gas, with only one being uh, harvested in the main and none on the expansion. Oh, a spore! Oh, there's a liberator. We have no spore. Queen isn't reacting. Oh, he pulls the he pulls the drones out. Quite a good reaction from our Zerg player. He is gonna already be able to pick up three. That's pretty good, um, considering. Queen's gonna walk around here. I think it's gonna be able to get one more. Maybe not. Decides to back out. That queen doesn't want to lose that liberator just yet, but three is already pretty good. Now this expansion is going to be 100% secure now that he has tank tech out, a couple more hellions. Um, ooh, one ling almost getting a very fresh meal there. That would have been 400 minerals or so, give or take, in the bank. Gone. But, uh, well, barely funny didn't enough, get it. The tank shell probably does more damage than the ling ever would have done if yeah. the marine pushed up. Probably, honestly. A couple of Ravengers being morphed in right now. That's going to do pretty well versus the tank. However, there is a Cyclone on the map. I don't think it got taken out. Yeah, and so that's going to shut down the remainder of the Roaches. Um, but it really could come down to Micro if there isn't a lot of units on the map. Two more tanks in production, so looks like Hobo Master is going to be just fine. And position pet completes. He's making a queen at the main though, so there's no hive just yet. Plus two attack, range attack is going out. Maybe we'll see hydras with plus three push. Yeah, maybe. Does he have a hydralist in? Not yet, but with the range attack coming out and just roaches. No speed for the roaches coming out. That's what I'd say. Yeah, definitely speed for the roaches at minimum. Doesn't have it quite yet, though. 2-2 two -two is finished up, or started, sorry, for the circuit player. Whereas our Terran player, do we see any upgrades? None yet. An army is actually just being made now. Blue Flame you know? Hellions coming out here. Ooh, blue Flame, I like it. I like it. Those three roaches getting some scouting done. Is there a third base? Mm-hmm. For Nito. Uh, no. For Nito. Oh, it looks like it's about to go down just now as I speak of the third base. All right, there nice. There it is. And another Liberator being produced. Did that other Liberator die? I don't know. I don't see it. It might have died. Maybe we missed that. There it is. Oh, Hydrogen yep. goes down, and 2-2 two is about to be completed. Spore Crawler has one kill, so I'm assuming that was the Liberator. All right. And it's kind of moved off to the corner, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. A couple of Avengers walking to the middle east of the map now. I'm going to group up with the remainder three roaches, but three roaches versus uh, quite a few tanks. We're getting up to five and six in that range now. That's looking pretty scary, no matter what race you are. And a liberator as well. That actually could be really nice if he just walks up there, sees the liberator, and um, files that. That could be really good. And that bile does miss that siege tank. Um, but he gave his life for the swarm, so it all evens out. Mules dropped at the expansion and swam to a planetary instead of orbital. Yeah, definitely a little bit of extra defense for those Ling runbys. That's always nice. Sometimes those can be really annoying late game, but you know, if you have a planetary, you won't have any problems whatsoever with that at all. Pathogen glands is, is being is being researched as well as both hydralisk upgrades. Two twos completed for the Zerg. We might see a three three here started. And even Thor's coming out. Um, 
from Hobo Master. That's going to be really nice. Really tanky units, a lot of armor on them. Really do well versus the splash damage to the air if there was any um, spires on the way. Yeah, well. some good tech. You know, Zerg's getting that awesome late game tech as well as Terran. He's getting that maxed out, very, very scary mech army that is very difficult to deal with. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to see how Nito reacts. Nito knows exactly what's going on. That Overlord flew over everywhere. Um, looks like Hobo Master is going to start the charge and see what he is able to get done. Not a lot of army out uh, for Nito right now. It's only 37 to 80. This is not going to look good for Nito. Hobo Master moving out at a really good timing here, right before Zerg mass produced the units that he wants to be able to attack this. And now those Hellions basically took out all the force, and they're going to be walking up to the third base now of Nito as this slow siege push begins. Mm -hmm. So many Liberators and tanks. The tanks on the high ground, such a great push going so far. But those Hellions are already low HP, but the Thors are coming to back them up. And now all the Hydras that were being produced that just came out got basically, basically obliterated. Um, couple mutas pop as well, but there are Thors in this mech army, and those mutas are basically going to be shredded right off the bat as well, and this third base is basically toast for Nito now. Mm -hmm. I just are pushing out. They're going to jump on top of these libs as they fire away. All they're going to get out of the two libs, though, and maybe a bit of damage on the Thor. Now the mutas pop, but mutas aren't going to do anything. We talked about this. Yeah, and uh, even the F2 across the map, the Ravengers that were going to flank onto that third base got ran into the siege tanks on the high ground. And uh, basically, Nito's on two bases now with a sneaky fourth base, I guess you could say, taken on the right side there. The Mutas, oh, they're going to go for the siege tanks on the high ground, but already the splash damage is going to only take one so far. Two. The Mutas are going to walk across the map and force them back, but more Thors in production. The production Thor is actually going to catch all these Mutas out. Oh no! Oh no! It's it, 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 Zerg tears to my eyes. And now so. he's down to two Mutas, and there's another Thor! And there's more <laughs> Mutas being made! Oh, but they're getting on top of these SCVs here. They're getting already a few more being killed. He's sending them back. He's f 2 them back home now. There he goes. Two Mutos versus one Missile Turret. That's not going to be a happy story for the Mutalisks. And now the Thors and Siege Tanks are sieging up on the natural base of Nito. Even dropping a scan. Hobo Master getting some extra vision. I'd like to see some mules dropped here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, six Thors, four tanks. That's all you need, and Nito decides to tap out. Hobo Master taking the game, moving on into our semifinals for our bracket here today.